There are many other public education issues concerning parents like myself. The slow creep of critical race theory, diversity, equity, and inclusion, gender identity, and allowing logical boys to enter girls' spaces and sports. Now we have SEL, which is social emotional learning. It's indoctrination disguised as pro programs like kindness initiatives or anti-bullying programs or diversity projects. These are all Marxist style programs targeting our children. Then, to make it all better, the current administration weaponized the Department of Justice. And all the parents speaking up at school board meetings or challenging any of these programs, like I was, was now labeled a domestic terrorist. Our Department of Justice is calling me, a mom, a domestic terrorist. So I have three questions. What is the Republican Party going to do to help parents take that back control of our children's education? Will the Republican Party be the party of parents and defend us from being labeled domestic terrorists? And how will you protect our children from the radical agenda of the left? Thank you very much. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. You're an amazing mom. When you look at a, the commitment to America, a future built on freedom, you're exactly what this whole section is about. The sad part is, We've heard exactly what you just said clear across the country. This wasn't based upon one school district. But what's amazing is what you're going to hear about here, because we have tiger moms just like you in Congress. And Julia Letlow, right here, has had an amazing bill that you're going to love. It's one of the cornerstone of what this all is all about. Julia? Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Lori. Mama Bear to Mama Bear, I hear you. And I have some exciting news to tell you today because in our commitment to America, parents will always have a seat at the table when it comes to their child's education from here on out. I can promise you that. You know, I think, just like you said, one of the silver linings of the pandemic is that for the first time, us working parents, we had a front row seat to what our children were being taught. And I heard from you, I heard from dads, I heard from parents all across my district in this country that they were astonished of what they were seeing and what they were hearing. And then when they went to their school boards to voice their concerns, they were told, we don't want your voices here. We actually don't want you to come here at all. And then on top of that, you're labeled a domestic terrorist so no wonder the mama bears came out to fight, and I am so thankful that you did. You know, what are we going to do about all of this? What is going to be our response as a Republican Party? We are going to give power back to the parents, and I am so honored to have the opportunity to author the Parents' Bill of Rights that we are going to roll out in this commitment to America. This is common sense legislation. It's just about providing transparency for us. And so you as a parent should always, the first and foremost thing, be able to view your child's curriculum. That is first and foremost, you, that is your right as a parent. And then secondly, if you don't like what you find, if you don't like what you see, you should be able to go to your school board and lawfully tell them this needs to change. You should have that right as a parent. And then thirdly, you should know where your taxpayer dollars are going. Your school should be transparent with you about how they are using your taxpayer dollars to teach your children. Absolutely. And then finally, you should be able to protect your child's privacy. You as a parent should be able to do that. And then if there is any violence on your, on your child's campus, you should be notified right away. As a former educator... I know that when parents are involved, when parents are actively involved in their child's education, when they're laying the foundation, then that child is going to be set up for success. So I'm so absolutely honored to push this Parents' Bill of Rights. It's the first brick of the layer, a foundation of where we're going to go. 
and turning education around for our country because we desperately need to right this ship. Everything is on the line for our children's future and future generations for this country. Thank you so much for your question. <laughs>